Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I have my review and opinions on Apple's HomeKit. So HomeKit is not new by any means. Apple actually released it a while back now, but in iOS 10, Apple did make some improvements to it, including a new app called Home, which kind of acts as a hub for all your HomeKit accessories. And uh, more importantly, I recently picked up some HomeKit enabled accessories for my bedroom, including, as you can see behind my desk, that light strip, which is illuminating on the wall. And I also have some Philips Hue light bulbs uh, that are acting as the main light source now in my room. So I figured now that I have all these HomeKit enabled accessories and my entire room uh, for lighting is pretty much uh, controlled by my iPhone, I figured I can make a cool video and show you. So we're in the Home app here, which is new in iOS 10, and you can see I have all my accessories listed here. So I have bedroom, which, I, which like I said, is the main light source in my room. I have desk, which is the backlighting, and I have a lamp, which is off right now, which is in the corner of my room. So if I tap on desk, you can see the desk right there fades away. Uh, the backlighting turns off instantly, and if I tap it again, uh, you can see it takes a second there, it comes on. One glitch I'm noticing, as you saw there, is sometimes you have to tap it on and off twice. So you saw there, when I tapped it on, it didn't come on. I actually had to tap it off again and then turn it back on. Uh, that might be a glitch because I'm uh, on a beta version of iOS 10.2.1, uh, but tell me in the comments if you're having that issue also. So you can turn it off, turn it on. It is very responsive. Sometimes I have that glitch, like I said, where I have to hit it twice to turn it on, and it can be very frustrating. If we press in here, we can control the brightness. So if I drop it down, you can see uh, the brightness of the light changes in real time, which is really nice. Uh, you may find with some other cheaper lighting solutions, uh, if you change the color or if you change the brightness, it may not respond instantly. And this is where you're really getting your money's worth with Philips Hue uh, and the integration with Apple's HomeKit is when you change the brightness or change the color, it really changes live and you can really see the settings uh, as you want them in real time. So let's bump up the brightness back to 100%. And if we tap on color at the bottom, uh, we can choose any color we want. We can hit edit and we can choose any color from this color wheel. So we can set it as uh, green. We can go over here to a nice red or we can put it back to blue like I had it before. And uh, we can also do this from control center. Something really cool. If we swipe up and go all the way over three buttons, I can turn off my bedroom. I can turn off my desk. So if I tap it there, there's that glitch again. See, I tap it. It doesn't turn off. I have to tap it on again and then tap it and then it works. Uh, I tried refilming this video about three times to try to get this glitch uh, not to appear on video, but I figured this is actually how it is in real life. So I figured uh, you may as well see this glitch also. So it isn't responsive sometimes. You saw there I had to tap it twice to get it to turn on and turn off. So that is the actual experience with this. I didn't want it to uh, to look perfect for you because that wouldn't be real. So um, yeah, there is some glitches, but uh, for the most part, it works very well. You can also do the force press in here and lower the brightness and raise the brightness and also change the color uh, from here. Uh, one of the coolest things though is Siri integration. So I can just use Siri and change the color of my desk. So I can do this, make my desk red. And as soon as I say that, it makes my desk red. And it is so cool and it's awesome to use when I'm laying in bed and I forget to turn my desk off or something. I can just say, hey Siri, turn desk off. and it turns my desk off. It's so cool and it's it's just so futuristic to turn off your lights using your voice and Siri integration with HomeKit uh, is definitely one of the best features. Turn desk back on. Turn desk on. There we go. So you have to be very specific uh, how you say it to Siri. So if I say turn desk back on, it won't do it. I have to say turn desk on. So it could be tweaked a little bit there to understand uh, the way humans talk a bit better. But yeah, uh, this is more of a real review. I didn't, like I said, I didn't want it to be perfect. I wanna actually show you how it is in real life using HomeKit. There are a few glitches like you saw, it isn't perfect, uh, but it really is a step forward uh, for the futuristic home and uh, home automation as a whole. So guys, that's Apple's HomeKit and my experience with iOS 10. Uh, if you're wondering, the light strip behind my desk is the Philips Hue Light Strip Plus. It was a little bit expensive, but I think it was worth it uh, for the, the very bright light that it produces. I had some other light strips from Ikea that I had before. You may have seen those in my setup tour video. Uh, those lights didn't produce any light at all. And this light strip, uh, although it is a bit expensive, I feel it was worth it uh, for the light it produces. Uh, anyways, I'll link all the products I have in my in my room here in the description down below so you can click on those and uh, you can go look at them if you want to pick them up. Thank you for watching. My name is Mike 
and I'll see you in the next one.